become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here today a package arrived from the uk with my sandal dumbbells now my, this, this is this is just such a beautiful thing um, for me to display to you these are sandals third a set of dumbbells that he came out with because he this is his third patent his third patented dumbbell set i'm pretty sure he had many many more but at least these this is the one that i believe that was the last one that came out i think he patented it just before he passed away and um <clears throat> what's so special about this third patent is um just the whole design you still have the springs within it with this kind of um, a guiding cylinder that when you grip the dumbbell you know the the actual bells which is split in two can slide within uh, you've got the, the springs this one has five that one has um, lost them through time of, of course has only three but you had these successive inventions and novelties with each dumbbell the first being just the plain old spring grip dumbbell which was um, with leather here and the outside was chrome then he came out with the ringing dumbbell so you would make sure that you would completely squeeze the dumbbell it would make a beautiful sound right a, a very beautiful sound i have to admit now the third patent what what is very obvious is the the um the way that this has been molded allows it to fit your hand beautifully for your fingers there's these grooves here and even this side contains this kind of protruding part of the of the dumbbell so that it fits perfectly in your palm so you could almost say it's ergonomic <laughs> it's just brilliant and you have had of course one for your right hand and one for your left so i can grab them both and see it just sits beautifully in the palm of my hand it's got this wonderful mold here this protruding piece of of uh, iron and they sit beautifully my fingers are comfortable in it you know and, and then you can just squeeze and grip the dumbbells as you perform your curls your presses your rows everything and uh yeah they're just marvelous they they are just marvelous so um yeah here we go let's have a look inside now it says I can just zoom that in somehow made in england and there it is so, you know made in england with sandow patent so there's england sandow patent so there you go original sandow patented let me just zoom back in patented um dumbbells that's his third patent i just want to add that you can even see that sandow thought about everything in regards to this third patent and dumbbell set that he even um, made it easier for people to know which dumbbell to use with which hand as you can see he's got um one engraved with l for left hand and one engraved with r for right hand so not only was the dumbbell very ergonomic um, in that it sat beautifully the way it was grooved and designed it sat beautifully in the palm of your hand that allowed your fingers to grip the dumbbell even better but you were even guided as to which hand should hold which dumbbell so you know it's amazing to see what these pioneers were able to do so long ago um, and you know their contributions of course to to bodybuilding and fitness at least in my opinion should never be forgotten yeah um just thought I'd display these to you. They've just come from the UK. I've been waiting for these for a long time. And I guess in the future, when I have more space, I would like to go through all the bronze era equipment that I have collected through the years and uh, show you my bronze era gym, uh, so to speak. And also, you know, basically this is the kind of stuff that will go into the physical culture museum that I keep talking about. I have a museum campaign for the golden era of bodybuilding all the way from the 1900s, early 1900s 
to the 1970s, which will display this kind of information. You're going to see all of Sandow's patents, a lot of bronze era equipment and silver era pioneers and their equipment and things that they created. And of course, in the golden era, that's the whole idea. If you wish to support this campaign, please donate via the uh, web link given. Um, it's on the I believe in you.ch platform called the history of fitness. And uh, yeah, you can donate there. Basically, I will be showcasing this as an exhibition along with all my other pieces so that people can really and learn to appreciate and understand how far the history of fitness and bodybuilding goes. It really does go far, far back. And all the, um, yeah, all the, the wonderful things that were created over these, these many, many years. And, and now we all take fitness for granted, but that's my whole point of educating uh, the public about the history of something that we enjoy so much fitness and bodybuilding. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did and share it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm and leave me your comments. Thanks for watching the video once again. Uh, head to my website for books and courses on Bronze Era methods, such as the Spring uh, Grip Dumbbell System from Eugene Sandow, plus many other Bronze Era strongmen. There's books on Silver Era techniques and bodybuilding routines there on, on the Golden Era, etc. Uh, become a patron to support the channel as well. You're going to find a library of books, articles, and magazines there for your enjoyment and for your reading pleasure. And yeah, that's basically it. Get in touch via email as well if you wish to pass on such beautiful bodybuilding relics uh, so that I can continue adding to my collection for the benefit of everybody for the Physical Culture Museum, for the Bodybuilding Museum. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era book I'm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning Sandow's different bodybuilding systems, please visit my website where you will find the most comprehensive collection of ebooks on the subject. Everything from Sandow's chest expander system, which involved pulling and extension movements, to the light dumbbell system, which involved pressing, curling, and flexing movements, as well as the Sandow developer, which essentially was one of the first cable stations available for the home gym. All the relevant ebooks to all these courses are available on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.